What's going on, buddy? My name is Black Master Novio, and today, guys, today we're going into the spatial organization of agriculture. So, we're going into commodity change, farming practices, and of course, technology. Stuff that you've already kind of been talking about, uh, common sense, and then some new topics. This is going to be a very simple and short video. So, let's get into commodity change, which is a process uh, in transportation of resources, not transportation, transformation of resources into goods, then being transported to the customers. And then Complex change link production and consumption of agricultural products. So in here we have cinnamon growers, groups, and collectives. I mean that goes into the facilities. Then that goes into exporting and then the markets, uh, the domestic markets, and then the international markets. This is a commodity chain. Very, very simple. Uh, they can be this simple, or they can be extremely complex. Kind of like a, a family or a language tree, as we talked about in the past. So these include uh, the processing. Uh, so we see the facility right here. The exporting, where they're being sold. The markets, uh, who's buying them, uh, where they're harvested, uh, and all of that. So yeah, that's a commodity chain. And we'll talk about this in just a second uh, with this new topic. So farming operations. So large-scale commercial agricultural operations are replacing small family farms. So 100 years ago, uh, you would see more small family farms uh, and less large-scale farms than you would now. So today, you would see more large-scale farms and less small family farms. Now, why has this occurred? Think about this in your head. Pause the video. Uh, maybe write some, some bullet points or think a little longer. But why has this happened? Well, let's get into some main reasons. Urbanization. Uh, people are going to these urban areas. We're going to be seeing uh, families... Uh, going to, you know, urban areas, not really raising a family on a farm anymore. You don't really see people raising families on a farm unless you're in, like, a really rural area, <laughs> Montana. But, uh, urbanization is a big reason for this. Uh, some people, maybe they grew up on a farm, uh, they went to an urban area, maybe wanted to become a farmer and that didn't happen anymore. There's so many scenarios about this, uh, but urbanization is a big, uh, reason for this. Then we see finance. Maybe they're not making money off their small family farms. Small family farms are usually intensive and subsistence. Uh, so they're not getting that much profit. Well, they're also not really growing for profit either. Uh, and now farming, that takes a lot of time and very labor intensive, especially if they're not making profit to buy um, mechanisms and inventions, technology, all that. So it takes a lot of time and it costs a lot of money. So this could put a lot of farms out of business. People need to move to urban urban areas. We see urbanization there, or they just shut down their farms because they can't afford it uh, anymore. And then we see complex commodity change by commercial operations. So commercial operations, uh, they're able to produce the goods that go to the processors and then to the markets to make uh, money. They can do double crops, hybrid cropping, GMOs, all of that stuff. They can do everything. And make a ton more money than those small family farms who don't have much access to uh, the ability to be uh, have processed foods, go to markets, make more money, uh, and get all of that. Now let's get into technology, which is kind of the last bullet point of the video. So technology has increased economies of scale in the agricultural sector, so the agricultural like area, and the carrying capacity of the land. Now we see advancements and transportation. What did I spell wrong? Oh, I, sp I spelled, okay, advancements. I was looking for something. Now what has advancements in transportation done that increased economies of scale in agricultural sector? Well, it has allowed transportation to be cheaper. It has allowed it to be quicker uh, between two areas. We see time-space compression and the opposite of distance decay. Uh, so we allow crops to be going to more areas, bigger diffusion. Uh, and yeah, transportation allows all that stuff. Mechanization, what has it done? Well, it's allowed uh, farm farm amount of people to work on a farm decrease. But allowed people to buy more farmland and make more money because it's less labor intensive. They don't have to hire labor and they don't have to spend 12 hours a day with the animals. So yeah, that's what mechanization has done. Kind of quick about that. You've heard a ton about this already, so I don't want to go too in depth with it. Then fertilizers and pesticides. What have they done? 
Well, they have allowed people to grow bigger uh, food. Fertilizers allow uh, soil not to lose fertility so it can last longer. So people, farmers can make more money, grow more, not have to worry about uh, fertilizers uh, and plants to not grow and not work, stuff like that. So pesticides, they don't have to worry about their uh, plants getting eaten and yeah, all that stuff. And then living closer to markets, what has that done? Well, this has allowed uh, food to go to the markets, uh, you know, quicker, about, allowed them to sell their stuff and make money. So all of these are four really good factors that you should know that have helped increase economies of scale in the agricultural sector and the carrying capacity of the land. Remember, the carrying capacity is kind of like how much something can sustain without damage. And we see this with really fertilizers and pesticides the most. Uh, and then with living closer to the markets, uh, farmers may not have to live on their farm anymore. Uh, they can live farther away because their, uh, their farm is closer to the market. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Complete the skill check on the screen. It'll help you. Join my Discord server to teach other people new things or to learn something new yourself. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Leave a like on the video. Uh, leave a comment with your criticism. I love criticism. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And adios.